There are things you do in your life and sometimes you come across something that you find out this is what your whole life was meant to be about. At least this point, this is where I'm taking my art. My name is Janine Hill Solner and I'm working on the Portrait of American Veterans Project. My father was a veteran. He, uh, he was a World War II Korea and two tour of Vietnam veteran. And I know he had a lot of stories that he never talked about. And veterans don't talk about their stories. Anyone who has experienced a war or, um, or trauma doesn't want to talk about that. And through the Vet Art Project and through art, through um, the arts, there are ways of communicating and opening up stories and dialogues that, um, so that the public will understand what the veterans have been through and they can heal and the, vet and the communities can heal as well. I think that helps us all understand how to better take care of our veterans. So this is actually so far between four paintings and four individuals. I have three generations of veterans that I'm representing. And Verge is the first from his generation that I'll be representing from um, the Vietnam era. When the service in Fort Polk, Louisiana in April of 1966, that was Tigerland. That was the time when we were getting ready for the Vietnam era. You know, Tigerland, that's a tough place. <laughs> and I come from a military family. My father was in World War I. And I had uncles in the Korean War, and I have myself and another brother. We both are Vietnam era veterans. I ended up in uh, being a missile technician and a radio technician because I had electronics background before I went into service. Each uh, veteran should take up on his own to try to help other veterans, leave no veteran behind. I'm just one person uh, trying to make a difference for homeless and disabled veterans and projects that I created. And uh, I like uh, the art program that we have here because it connects veterans uh, to the communities. It helps uh, a veteran to be more open publicly, you know, because he can express things through artwork and uh, saying what's in his heart. I'm learning a lot. This has been a huge learning experience for me because I have uh, two World War II uh, veterans that I've spoken with and I've heard their stories. A Korean vet, uh, war veteran, he's also a World War II veteran. A Kosovo veteran, I also have painted Matt Ping who is um, 28. He did a tour of duty in Afghanistan. And so his story is, is different because it was a different war and he's a different age. And now that we have a whole new generation coming home from Afghanistan and Iraq, we really have to understand them better and our culture has to treat them better. If we're gonna send them over there and they're in an all-volunteer army, we have to understand when they come home that they need to be listened to and they need to be, they need better treatment. You can't come home from war, you can't come home from a trauma like many veterans experience and just meld right back into society. That's what the Vet Art Project is all about and I think that's what my project is all about. I think this is where I am now, this is how I'm serving serving the veterans and serving my country through representing the veterans in the way that I know how to tell their stories through art.